Hello there, thanks for tuning in to a Minecraft Bedrock tutorial. Today we're going to build a cow farm. Alright, so this is a cow farm I designed for a Bedrock. Now it will also work on Java, but uh, no reason to build it on Java because Java has a even much simpler cow farm. But on Bedrock, the, the uh, dimensions or the uh, mechanics are a little bit different. Uh, so here's one that will work in Bedrock, and let's get right down to it. Alright, so uh, if you look at my inventory here, this is a... Well, not, not that inventory. There you go. This over here, this is what you're going to need. Actually, we won't need any redstone. I was playing around with some stuff. Uh, the only thing uh, of note you're going to need is you're going to need one dispenser. Everything else is regular stuff you can get uh, really easy early on. Okay, so here you go. So the back wall is going to be 11 blocks long. Okay, and then we want it to come forward by a total of 10 blocks. So that's one. So nine additional blocks. Same thing over here on the other side. All right, and then we want to almost close this in. We want to leave the, the center three blocks open. Okay, very good. All right, so now we want to build up this back wall. We want to build it up to a total of five high. So we're going to go four high, uh, four additional on each one. Okay, and then we want to make the side walls. We want to go four more in that direction, also making them five uh, tall. So the next four blocks moving forward, add four blocks to each one. Okay, same on the other side. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and place a little ladder right over here. In the event that we ever need to come in this thing, we're going to want to get out. We'll leave the top one uh, open because we're going to place a trap door there. We'll leave the bottom one open as well in case anything uh, gets in here. Uh, hostile, hostile mobs won't be able to climb that ladder if the bottom one is out. Okay, so now we're going to put a uh, roof on it. And also, incidentally, on this block choice, you really could use any solid block you want for this. I'm using this block in particular because it leaves nice borders, so it's easy for you to look at it and count. Uh, so that's why I'm using this one, but you could use any block you like for this, any solid block. Okay, so we're going to fill this roof in, except for the second row and that, and that one block for the ladder. So if we start over here... There you go. Next uh, row will be completely filled in. This row we skip. There you go. Now we got something that looks like that. Okay, so now we want to come below and we want to take some temporary blocks and above, our, I'm sorry, below that opening on the middle block, so third block up or third block down, we just go ahead and fill this in. All right, and now we want to place trap doors and we want to place them in such a way that they that they uh, activate like that. Okay, and then we want to come to the back side and we want to do the same thing. And again, same deal, place them in such a way that they, uh, when they activate, they close this gap here. All right, and then we're also going to place one up here. All right, and then we want to place some ladders. We can get in here from uh, from the inside, but we won't normally be on the inside. So we want to place some ladders on the outside so we can get up to the top here. Because we are going to need... This is an auto-kill farm, but you will need to um, feed the cows to breed them. So that's just a bedrock thing. Okay, now we're up here. Now we want to place water on each grass block. Do not waterlog the uh, trap doors because then you'll have a, a very ugly water stream going outside. This is real easy with just two water buckets because once you uh, place water here, skip one and place one here, you've created an infant water source there and then you can just go every other block placing it on the grass and uh, you'll be golden. Okay, so now we want to go back down. 
and this will get just a little bit messy, but it's uh, not too bad. You're going to want to replace all these dirt blocks with glass panes. So what I would do is I would just, uh, I know I'm in survival. It'll be a little tricky. I mean, I'm in uh, uh, creative. You'll be in survival. Uh, I've done this in survival as well. The best way to do this is just to break the dirt with the glass pane, because that way, as soon as the dirt breaks, you can place the gl glass pane. Well, in survival or in uh, creative, it breaks so easy. And uh, there you go. All right, so that was the hardest one. Going back in this direction, it's a lot easier. So you just break each block, place a glass pane. Okay, for now we're going to leave those uh, trap doors down because we have to breed a bunch of cows. All right, so we're going to go ahead and grab us some more uh, temporary blocks. And we're going to create a temporary stairway. You really only need to do one wide. The cows will follow you up there, but I just find three wide, you'll get uh, more cows to follow you quicker. Okay, so in a creative world, you just go round up some cows. I'll spawn some in here for us. Okay, you'll start off with a handful of cows and uh, just take your wheat, lead them up the stairs. And then uh, I forgot one thing here. You want to place a row of temporary blocks here. This is this is not really necessary, except that it makes it super easy to push the cows in there. All right, so we'll grab our, let's get our cows attention again. We'll get them up here. Now, try not to fall in there. You, you'll have to break your way out, so it's not tragic. Probably the best way to do it is to crouch while you're pushing the cows. They'll fall right in, but then you won't be able to go over the edge. But as you can see, it's really easy to get them in there because of that wall. It keeps them from being able to uh, walk across mm. that open block. Nah. All right, we'll get these last two guys up here. Come on, guys, follow me. There you go, up the stairs. Nah. All right, fellas. Come on in, the water's fine. Ah, the last guy doesn't want to go. That's okay. We got enough to start. Uh, quick sleep. Okay, so now that we're done uh, with the cows, we can break out this uh, temporary staircase. Head on up. Break out these temporary blocks. I'll leave that last one momentarily. Get yourself some fences out. And let's just get a fence across these guys. There you go, now you can break out that last temporary block. Okay, so at this point, we're just gonna breed them. We wanna breed a lot of cows. So this might take you just a little bit at this step. But uh, the good news is, in bedrock, your cooldown period between being able to feed them is uh, just a minute, so you can feed them pretty frequently. Now, this fence serves two purposes. Number one, it keeps them moving, so when you get a bunch of cows, you just like in the Java version with the uh, cow crusher, you want them bobbing up and down so you can uh, feed the cows that are uh, underneath and such. It also keeps you now from falling into that slit. Okay, so about every minute or so, you're going to want to uh, breed these guys up. Now, in the meantime... Okay, we're going to come in here, and starting with where there would be blocks, should we finish that wall, dig down uh, one and go out about ten blocks. Okay, and then uh, after your first three rows of dropping down, so you got one, two, three on the fourth row, go down another block and go all the way to the end. Break out that row so you can make yourself a little staircase going out. Okay, now you want to get a chest. You can you can use a couple chests and uh, do whatever you want here, but uh, really you'll probably be uh, taking the stuff out here. But you can do a double chest if you want. doesn't matter. I'm just going to do a single chest right here. All right, so I have two rows at this lower level behind there, so I'm going to place hoppers leading into that chest now. So, of course, you'll crouch down and then place the rest of the hoppers so that they ultimately all feed into that chest. Okay, and then above both of these rows, then we want to place signs. Nah. 
Okay, so you have uh, summarizing where we are now. You got uh, a drop down of one block for three blocks long. Then we have another drop down, two rows of hoppers with signs above them and a chest in front. All right, so now we need our dispenser. So I'm gonna grab the dispenser and place it right here facing in this direction. There you go. Inside the dispenser, you're gonna place a bucket of lava. And then you're going to place on the back of the dispenser a uh, stone button. There you go. Okay, now you want to take some glass blocks and make a row go straight across here. All right, and then starting on top of the uh, dispenser, have a row here. Bring that down to the ground. And one more row right next to that there. All right, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and get out some more of the solid blocks. At this point, these are really a design choice. You could just use glass here. That would be uh, just fine. But I kind of like the way that looks. So uh, either way, uh, now we're going to go ahead and do a, another row of glass blocks right here. And then up, raise it one row. Right like so. Okay, now we got to get down in here. And we need to place uh, buttons. So this is gonna dispense lava right here. The glass blocks will stop it from moving forward. The signs will stop it from moving down. We need to place buttons on this row right to the left on the ceiling on the row, right to the left of the dispenser. That'll keep the lava from moving this way. We don't want the lava touching the water because then it just turns into um, <laughs> cobblestone and you have a big mess on your hands. So these buttons here, and it doesn't matter if they're turned the other way, you know, for instance, if you got one like like that or like this, that look like it's placing them all the same. At any rate, it, they're kind of a rectangle, so it doesn't really matter which way, as long as there's a button on the ceiling on this row here. So now the, uh, the, the killing mechanism is ready. Okay, now in front here, we want to grab ourselves uh, some slabs. And pop some slabs. That way, uh, when the baby cows come down, they won't be able to get through here. Now, we're not going to kill any baby cows, but they'll be babies for a little while before they grow up. So, uh, you don't want them getting out. And then, uh, I go ahead and place a couple of uh, full blocks there. This also allows, uh, you will get some XP out of this, too. So, some of the XP will, will flow with the water, come this way, and you'll be able to collect it here. Some of the XP you'll collect up top uh, when you're breeding the cows. Okay, so now we got to build up the side walls a little bit. Now, when we flip these open and there's baby cows in there, they sometimes they come shooting out a little bit. So we want this wall to be prop to be uh, three more high. It really doesn't matter. It's it's up to you what you want to do it with. Uh, you could do blo solid blocks. You could do the glass blocks. Uh, whatever you have more of is fine. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to use glass blocks really just so that we can uh, see what's going on. Now, for this kill chamber, this did not have to be glass either. I prefer the glass for the tutorial uh, because it makes it easy for you to see everything and, and understand what's going on. Uh, but it really could have been a solid block as well if you should prefer. And one thing I forgot to do, probably you want to put some torches under here because uh, you don't want the, the chance of anything. Uh, things shouldn't spawn in water, but uh, I'd rather be safe than sorry in case uh, something weird happens. Plus, if you ever need to get in here and work on anything and it happens to be night, it'd be good. All right, let's make it day. Okay, so, so far we should be looking like this. Okay, and let's take a moment here and we will go ahead and I haven't been feeding these guys like I should have been. Let's go ahead and do another round of breeding. Because we want a bunch of cows in here. Now, your entity cramming rule with the uh, 24 per block, so we've got eight blocks here. So that's almost 200. So you're going to want to, the, the more you breed so that there's, uh, you know, the higher number of adult cows that are in here, the more cows it'll produce per batch. And you can get as much as, you know, a stack and a half of, uh, of beef and leather 
per session here if you really get this thing uh, packed in. So we'll go ahead and uh, try to be more diligent about breeding these guys up. All right, so we'll pop down in here and we're gonna go ahead and place our water. And all you need is one water bucket in each corner here. All right, and now we'll break out the blocks where there are no water. This is just like your mob spawners uh, underground. So that's one of the things when I, you know, when I designed this, I wanted to design something for bedrock. I know that there are ways to make these things smaller, but I like to make things really simple. And everybody is, uh, you know, who has been building uh, XP grinders is already familiar with a large part of this of this build. So it's uh, really easy to commit to, mem to memory so you don't have to refer back to a tutorial and all that. Uh, okay, so this is already all done. Okay, so now we just got to break out. You don't have to break out the center block, but all the rest of the blocks where the water stops, let's break those out. There you go, and then you'll see the water flows right up to the uh, hoppers, and that's what we want. Okay, so this part is finished. Now we just need to get over here to our escape hatch. And oh, one more thing. Shortly, we are going to have to open these trap doors, but we're not ready to do that yet until we have all the all the cows bred and there are no more babies left. All right, so we can close that now so we don't fall in there. Now we're just going to continue breeding these guys until it is chock full of cows. Okay, I've been breeding cows for a bit. We've got this thing really packed in pretty good. There's quite a few cows. Uh, before I release them, I want to do one more thing. I want to check and make sure I didn't do a check on this. Also, before I move on, actually, um, if you wanted to make this thing, you know, if you really wanted to make the uh, appearance look better, you can go around and uh, replace a lot of these grass blocks with better looking blocks. Maybe this is something you can do while you're while you're breeding up the cows. Uh, again, this is really this is completely cosmetic. Has nothing to do with the uh, function of the farm. Okay, so I just um, all I did was I replaced the dirt blocks that are around this with the with the nicer blocks, and I placed some lanterns around. All right, so I want to check the kill mechanism before we release the herd. So we're just going to give this a little check. So that's going to release the lava, and it should flow across three blocks there. Uh-oh, some, so something went wrong. All right, so that's why we that's why we test it. Uh, I don't know how I missed this, but we forgot to put the signs on. So signs need to go right here, so that's my bad. So that's why we test it, but uh, there you go. Real life uh, mishaps. There you go. That's what was missing. Okay, so we needed the uh, six signs above the hopper. All right, so now, so that stops the water from uh, going, and it also uh, keeps the lava from getting down and touching the water. Okay, one more time here. We're going to test that. Now it's coming across. It's, uh, yeah, so now we have a chamber here. So the other thing here with this, with the mechanics of this... We want there to be a one block clearance. That's the purpose of the signs. They, they do keep the water built back, but they also keep the lava up because when the ba we don't want the baby cows dying when they're babies. So we've got a one block clearance here, but having, even with that, sometimes the babies jump up and down, and that's why I had to put this in here. My first design was just having no uh, dispenser and just having the lava sitting in there, but what was happening is the babies were jumping up and down and killing themselves in the lava anyway, so that's why I had to add this uh, mechanism here. So now, now everything is working as it should. Now it's just a matter of making sure you have enough cows up there. Now, these gates here, the, uh, the trap doors, let's go ahead and jump in there for real quick. Now the trap doors, they serve a couple of functions. Number one, we close them so we can uh, breed them up. Um, but when when all the breeding is done, we can go ahead and open them. 
Here's an easy fix while we're in, uh, I see a couple of babies, a couple of cows weren't growing up yet. That's fine, they'll grow up. Uh, when you're in survival and you're trying to do this stuff, you might want to just place down a temporary, uh, temporary block to stand on. So you don't drive yourself crazy. Then you can flip these open. Okay, so now when we breed, the babies are going to drop down, and that's fine. That's what's supposed to happen, and the adults stay up there, so you always have cows to breed. Now, if I see a few of them uh, got up, up out up there somehow. It looks like they're all really piling up in the corner, so I'm going to add an extra fence post at each corner. I think maybe they, maybe they were glitching out of there. I'm not quite sure. All right. Come on down, join the fun, babies. Okay, so now everything's open. Now, in the future, if you want to breed more cows and you don't want... Obviously, if you're trying to get more cows in here, you don't want the babies dropping down in. So you just come down here and you close all these trap doors. Then you can breed up a whole bunch of cows. And when they grow up, then you can reopen the trap doors because the adults won't be able to uh, swim through there. Okay, so we're going to break that. So that was another interesting thing. So it's the uh, water stopped flowing there. So I just added another bucket of water. Not a problem. The signs are still going to stop the water right there. Okay, so now this thing is uh, fully function. Now we just want to breed up these cows. Okay, and as we breed them... Yeah, see, there's still a ton up here. They were just all glitched into the corners. Okay, so now that those trap doors are open below, as we're feeding them, the babies are just falling, uh, falling down into the pit. All right, so you breed these guys up. You just keep on breeding until you stop seeing hearts, and then you know you've fed everybody. And the amount of babies you produced on there will be dependent on uh, how many how many cows you've uh, you've got in here. You can see it's starting to slow down. Okay, some of that XP is kind of spilling uh, towards us here. I'm, I'm I'm in creative, so we're not uh, collecting any XP, but. Uh, all right, so now we just got to wait for these guys uh, to grow up. They were still breeding, so I'm going to go up and breed a little bit more. And we'll wait for these guys to grow up. And then we'll see. Uh, what, well, let's make sure that we don't have anything in the uh, hopper right now. We might have some uh, miscellaneous, yeah, some miscellaneous stuff that fell in. Okay, so let's wait for these guys to grow up and see what we get. Okay, so it's been a little bit. We do, we do still have some baby cows in there, so we're not going to get anything for them. But um, we've got quite a few grown-up cows, so... Let's go ahead and uh, activate this and uh, see what our take. Well, let's let's have a peek here. Yeah, we have yeah, nothing in there right now. All right. So the water will uh, keep pushing them back. They'll all eventually make their way back here, and uh, we'll see what kind of a take we get from this uh, first round. Okay, so while the uh, while the cooker is finishing up the cows, let's go ahead and go over the uh, mechanics of this thing. It's really pretty simple. So we have a little uh, slot here where we drop some cows down into. The adult cows are held up because this, the box is only one wide, and they're held up by that blade of glass that goes underneath. But the baby cows, once you open the trap doors, can get through there, whereas the adult cows can't. So when you breed them up, the babies drop down into the water. The water pushes them this way. Then you just wait for them to turn into adult cows. As soon as they turn into adult cows, you turn on the lava, and it cooks them up for you. Now, sometimes uh, you'll get a mix of cooked beef and, uh, and raw beef because sometimes they die in such a way where they didn't get cooked they didn't die while they were on uh, fully on fire so uh, you will get a mix but you get a lot of uh, leather from that as well and then we just have this up here where we can uh, keep breeding them up and uh, this is my first generation of this brand new farm so if I make any tweaks I may make an updated video or put uh, if it's something simple I'll put some notes I'll pin it as the top comment but it looks like uh, they're all done except for the one yeah once in a while you get a strap that's fine. He'll be he'll get uh, cooked up next batch, but let's see what we got Okay, so we got over a stack of, of beef and a little more than a half stack of uh, leather not 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 too shabby for your first take and Again, if you breed up some more cows first, you can actually get a higher take than that and then once we're done we go ahead and uh, retract the lava 
And what I would do is, is, as soon as you're done with that first batch, I would go ahead and breed up a second batch so that by the time you need another batch of uh, leather or beef, you've got a batch of adult cows waiting, and all you have to do is, is uh, cook them up. And that, my friends, is the farm. Pretty simple. If you got any questions, leave it in the comments for you. I will answer uh, questions for you. Um, I hope you found this useful, and uh, it's a. Uh, uh, there are other bedrock cow farms, but this one is really, it's a little bit of a bigger footprint than a lot of them, but th this one is super easy, uh, pretty easy farm to build, nice and simple mechanics that uh, is easy to understand, and it's uh, pretty similar to farms you're probably already used to building. So anyway, that's going to do it for, uh, for us this time. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything or were entertained in any way, please consider dropping a like, and hey, subscribe to my channel. It's free, and you can always change your mind and up subscribe later. All right, thanks a bunch. Till next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.